Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be taking a look at the collaboration done with Ame Leon Dor and a New Balance, and this is on the 991s. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we're going to be talking about a collaboration done with Teddy Santas and his company, Ame Leon Dor, on the New Balance 991. I have done many of this silhouette in the past, so do go back, check out all those videos if you have have not already. But today we're going to be talking about the overview of this new collaboration with Ame Leon Dor. Really cool color combination. Then we'll jump into size and fit, followed by how I style this color combination. As you all know, I do love me some olive green, so definitely had fun styling this one. Then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. This, of course, is a made in England specific sneaker and you all know how i feel about my made in uk made in england made in usa they are the creme de la creme the best highest quality out of any of my sneakers i currently own so starting with the front of the toe box we do have this kind of nice grayish hue which i think complements this green so nicely. I love this olive green. It's so nice and smooth. You can definitely tell that the materials they use on this are quality, my goodness. Cream on the meshing, cream on the laces, and then more of this grayish hue, which kind of almost in different settings looks a little bit more beige as well. Uh, but we do have hits of that olive on the top of the tongue here and that nice pop of green and then more of that cream threading for the New Balance 991 on the front. Let's take a look at those details and move along to the side panels. Before we move on, I do want to say there are some other options for laces. So I do love when Ame Leon Dor does collabs because they usually do come with other lace op options. We have it in this evergreen colorway or a light heather gray. Uh, I do particularly think I like it with the cream, but I may mix and match and switch it up to see if this is actually the winner. All right, so working our way to the side panels, we've got more of that cream meshing. The New Balance is in that pop of uh, green and then more of this just literally buttery suede that works its way to the back. We have the ALD, which you have seen for Dover Street Market. It is basically the same identical place where they put Dover. Uh, so nothing really different there. We have 991 on the back of the heel of the other sneaker as we go on to the interior we have a cream really soft interior uh Ame Leon door is nicely stitched it looks very luxurious actually on the insole and then we do have a just color combination of a darker and a lighter green and then as we wrap around to the other side of the side paneling same end that is outlined in that white leather we've got more of that luxurious suede and that cream meshing the sneaker is then completed with this three color combination of the olive the cream and that kind of taupe color uh, combo and then we do have a black and green outsole that completes the sneaker let's take a look at those last and final details
All right, so as far as the box goes, pretty cool box. It does actually match the sneaker quite perfectly. Uh, we do have the Made in England designed for Mulberry Street, which is where the Ame Leon door store is. So really cool kind of subtle uh, characteristic there that I think complements the sneaker quite nicely. All right, so as far as size and fit goes, 991, I would say stick true to size on this one. I do have higher arch narrow feet. So depending on whether or not you have a wider, flatter feet, that could actually differentiate a size that may work completely different from my own because we have different types of feet. Uh, but I would say if you have similar feet to myself, definitely stick true to size. All right, so now let's talk about styling. Again, I love olive green. It is one of my most complimentary colors I like to work into my wardrobe. Could be because I have kind of greenish hazel eyes. So it does change the color of my eyes when I I wear green so it is one of my favorite colors to actually add into my wardrobe uh, but for the first look i decided to wear a green and purple vest or a sweater vest and i had that with a plaid pleated skirt in a kind of chocolatey dark brown and lighter brown color scheme and i think that those colors really just complemented the color scheme of the shoe quite nicely Walk slow for me baby Walk slow for me oh. As you're leaving, I don't wanna see you go. I guess it's in and out. You couldn't even sit me down. Still conscious, but I'm in and out, in and out now. Left open and I'm bleeding now, bleeding now. And then for the second look, I decided to wear a light green button down for a more monochromatic look. I wanted the sneaker to kind of be the spotlight there, uh, but that is more dressed up, semi-casual look. I hurt myself with loving you, loving you. I hurt myself with loving you, loving you. Though I don't have the scars to prove this pills for with loving you I wish there was something I could do that wasn't selfish I've tried and there's nothing left to prove I guess I'm helpless so if it's in and out and then for the last and final look, I wore a zebra print bustier that was in a cream and this nice kind of light uh, pink color scheme. And then I paired that with some cargo pants and a nice, just simple khaki colorway. I think khaki colors really just vibe quite nicely with the color scheme of the sneaker. And so that was just kind of a fun option of really pairing some prints with this. Wanna sit me down. Still conscious, but I'm in and out. It's someone that I need you now. I hurt myself with loving you, loving you. I hurt myself with loving you, loving you. Though I don't have the scars to prove this. So you let me know down below what was your favorite look out of the three or how would you style these? Everyone is a villain, but don't call me a killer I keep, keep my mind on a mission Cutting ties if they swish and double life, double vision I see blue, blue diamonds Sideways, it's a race, who's timing? Five days, out of state, new climate No trace, quiet place, move silent Bitch throwing hands in the parking lot, getting stuck Digging up the sand, doing donuts in a billy truck You learn how to Show you love, yeah. I told you what, yeah. I know what it's up. Put it all in the mixture. Let the red devil kiss ya. Better hope that I miss ya. Hey, teach a man how to fish ya. Feed the fan for the kids ya. Feed the grand for the picture. How to get this far? How to get this far? If you don't know you play around. It could tell you apart. It could tell you apart if you turn it into someone else. Forgiven, everyone is a villain, but don't call me a killer. I keep keep 
Now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $275 and they are currently going right now between 300 to 400. It was a pretty high price point, uh, but as you can see, again, this is made in England and the quality on this is just literally on another level. So you're definitely paying for the materials that they use throughout uh, the sneaker. So definitely take that into consideration when you're looking at potentially purchasing these on the resale market. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. Thank you so much if you're new and joined us for the first time. Be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out. If you have not already, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you all next episode. No trace, quiet place, smooth solid.